In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of my favorite shortcuts to use in the bubble editor, because if you're not using shortcuts, you're not moving efficiently in your work. Not only is this shortcut going to help you move faster in your development, but it's also a great troubleshooting tool to help you uncover bugs and fix your mistakes. All right, this shortcut is one that will save you so much time when you need to locate a visual element in your design. So if you have an application with lots of visual elements already in place, even lots of workflows, like you can see right here, and you need a very quick way to go directly to a specific element. You don't want to waste time unraveling the elements tree or searching through it in the um, element search, you know, drop down window here. You may not even be highly aware of what the label for the element is. You may have multiple elements labeled the same way, so it could be confusing. You need a very quick shortcut to get to an element. This is the tool that you want to use. I'm going to show you real quick here. This is a button that when clicked, it's going to trigger a few actions. If I right click this event when the button is clicked and click reveal the element, selecting that boom, Bubble will take me right to it. In fact, it opened up a container that was hidden from me in order to show me that button. I'm gonna do this one more time. If I right click here, reveal the element, not only does Bubble pull open that group, but it also highlights the button for me and it pulls open the property editor if it was closed previously. This is so great for very quickly getting to that element. You don't have to search for it or scan through your drop down list here. You don't have to unravel your element tree items on the left hand side here. And if you're troubleshooting a behavior that um, you know is, is not working in the way that you intended, this can help you confirm that maybe you chose the wrong element by mistake. Maybe you had another element with the exact same name. This will help you reveal, oh, you know what? That wasn't the element that I meant to select or work with in my expression or in my workflow. Fantastic troubleshooting tool in addition to just helping you move through the editor a lot faster. Now, these workflow events aren't the only place where you can use this shortcut. One of my favorite ways to use reveal the element is when I want to jump to a different page from my workflow. So for example, I believe, yes, over here, when the user is logged out, we're triggering an action to navigate the user to our login page. So a completely different page from what we're on right now. So if I right click on my navigation action, which is referencing my page. And a page is really just one giant visual element. It's one giant container. I'm gonna do reveal the element. Bubble's gonna take me to that page in the editor. It actually moved me away from my fast track page. That was the uh, our course uh, that was designed on that page um, over to our login screen. Um, I love using that, especially with applications that are multi-page in structure um, and have many navigation actions. And you're just trying to get to those parts of the editor very quickly. Let me go back to our fast track page. And I want to show you another area um, where you can reference this shortcut. It's not just in the workflows, but also in the expressions. So let's go to, yes, our multi-line input here. Um, when the user is typing in their notes, uh, we want to create a note record in the database. So they're typing it into a multi-line input. I can right click the reference to that input. Remember that this shortcut is about revealing visual elements. So as long as you have a reference to a visual element, you will usually have this option here. So if I reveal the element on that multi-line, you can see that it pulls open this other group. And I believe we're talking about this multi-line here. I'm gonna do this one more time. You'll notice that if um, it's hidden, the first time you do it, it might not highlight it for you, but if the, the, the element is visible um, in the design canvas, then it'll take you to it and it will highlight it a lot better there, right? Okay, so that's uh, another area that you can use it is just referencing the expression, can be in your conditions, can be you know in expressions that you create in the canvas. Again, doesn't have to be in the workflows only. Um, one more area I want to point out, let's say, yes, here's a good example. Um, in the condition for my video player here, I'm changing the width of the video player depending on whether my, one of my other menus is visible or not. Right now I have a floating group menu, so down here. Um, and I'm gonna right click on this floating group reference, right in the expression, reveal the element, and it takes me down to that menu and it changes the property editor um, for that particular floating group. Okay, a great, great shortcut to quickly jump to things. Make sure that you are referencing the right thing in your expressions. Um, you're not making any mistakes there. Um, and it just, you know, if you get in the habit of using it, you really do move around the editor quite quickly um, to help you confirm uh, and continue building all of your functionality. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, definitely check out the content you see on the screen right now. These videos will help you better build and launch your app and a lot more quickly too.